uh, you guys, I'm still in the recovery room, and um, they're waiting to see if things get improved with my pain, and I got nausea still. But the procedure, I guess, went right, but I'm peeing blood and blood clots, and I gotta say, you guys, having this done, it is extremely painful to urinate. It's like peeing needles, and um, very painful, and I got horrific back pain on the left side where the kidney is. No stent and no cauterization of the tumor. The tumor's too big, so he said that the whole kidney has to come out because it's a larger tumor than he anticipated. So it sounds like the whole kidney has to come out. Um, but they just gave me some pain medicine through my IV because I feel uh, a lot of pain in my back and around the front of my abdomen and then I got nausea. So they gave me something for nausea because I feel sick. So I don't know how long I'm gonna be here for, but I uh, gotta wait until they're satisfied before I can go home. And then they'll set up the appointment to come back to have surgery to have the entire kidney taken out. Well, you guys, we're on I-90. We're on our way back home from Roswell Cancer Institute. And uh, I don't feel good right now because of all the drugs they pumped through me and everything. I feel sick to my stomach. Plus, I hadn't eaten anything since midnight of last night. So right now, it's quarter after 2 in the afternoon. We're on the highway going home and we're going to stop and I'm going to get a bite to eat because I really don't feel good. And um, when you have something like this done, it does give you a lot of pain in your back, right in the area where your kidney is. And of course, urination is a nightmare. I was peeing blood and a couple blood clots and it's literally, when you urinate, it's like peeing razor blades, you guys. It is painful. But... The more you do it, the more it clears out and the better it gets with drinking fluids and stuff, but I can't wait to stop and get something to eat because I feel so sick and nauseous and just not feeling well. And They gave me medication for that because I told them that anesthesia makes me uh, vomit, so they gave me something for that. And um, he honored my wishes. He did not give me a stent. I'm very happy about that. At first they thought they were gonna to have to go back in and give me a stent because I had such pain and discomfort, but um, it's slowly, slowly easing off. The urination is, you have to be ready for it when you go to urinate because, oh man, it's painful you guys. It's like uh, passing gasoline over an open wound. And, um, it's intense, but he, he said that uh, the whole kidney has to come out. The tumor is much bigger than he anticipated, and he drew a diagram to give um, Bridget when she was in the waiting room to show where the tumor is on the left kidney. So I'm gonna have to go back in here. They'll be calling with another surgery date to remove it. And. Uh, I just wish I could feel better because this, these bouts, you guys, of feeling okay and then not feeling well and then feeling okay and then back to not feeling well is not only concerning, but it's a nuisance because one minute you're feeling fine and the next minute you feel like you're checking out of this world. But um, once we reach Fredonia, we'll, we'll get a bite to eat and get off the throughway. And, um, and I'm sure it will be better tomorrow and that this was just freshly done it will uh, get better with time but at least at least I don't have to go back and have a stent taken out what they'll do is they'll just go through the surgery and take the kidney out and then I'm gonna be hospitalized in the hospital following that I won't be coming home that's not same-day surgery so They'll be contacting me probably within the next week. He did take a piece to biopsy, and that's why I'm pissing blood and chunks of tissue. And uh, very, very unpleasant with this back pain, you guys. My lower back, right in the area where the kidney is, is just intensely painful. 
feeling very, very uncomfortable. It's hard to get comfortable, you know, sitting, laying, no matter what. Um, I'm gonna see how laying down on the bed might help, but riding in a car, I got the seat reclined back, but still, even though it's, you know, it's still a car seat, so it's, un it's uncomfortable, and the vibration and the bumps of the road, uh, not fun, but you gotta do what you gotta do. And I also have to go out next week for my shoulder. They're doing an MRI on my shoulder to uh, set me up with a surgeon that will fix that. So, a lot of stuff still on the horizon. But um, at least I got this part over with. And uh, everybody was very nice, very professional, did a good job. Doctor was thorough with Bridget. He came in and talked to me, asked me if I had any questions or anything. So, again, just set my mind at ease. So, really good doctor. I can't, I can't say enough about him. He's just a really good uh, kidney surgeon. So, he's the one that'll be taking it out here in the next week or two. And then, uh, Hopefully I'll be cancer free after that unless they discover it spread somewhere else because when they're in there uh, they can see the outside of the kidney as well as tissue in your in your cavity of your body whereas this scope they can only see the inside of the kidney and not the outside so looking forward to getting the rest of that done and out of the way so my voice has changed a little bit because of the breathing tube they put down my throat it always irritates the throat and for some reason alters your voice box a little bit. That'll clear up again. So, anyway, I'm gonna get a bite to eat and then we're going home, you guys. And I've, uh, did they send us home with any medications? Yeah. So they didn't feel I needed an antibiotic? Just, no, just ibuprofen, Ultra and Tylenol. Yeah, okay. Still feel a little drugged from the anesthesia. I'm dizzy. I feel weak. But like I said, once I eat something, hopefully that'll take care of it. And, uh, yeah, so I'll keep you guys posted as I learn more. And I still got a ways to go yet because I got to get the kidney out. It was too big of a tumor for them to save the kidney. So that's typically what happens when people have kidney cancer. They use, they lose whichever kidney is affected. And uh, is what it is. So thanks for your prayers, you guys, your well wishes and everything. I appreciate it. It does make a difference. It matters. And I can't say enough about how much I appreciate it. So. We'll see what's going to happen next, and I'll keep you guys posted. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.